Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we'll embark on a reverse diet journey. And we will start adding calories to our life right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, sometimes we do challenges. Yeah. And we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to get started on our reverse diet journey. Yeah. I mean, and this is a challenge. We're kind of talking like it's a challenge because it's something new. It's a yep. change up. But I'm really happy about this change up. <laughs> this isn't an organ meat change up. This is like we're going to be adding some... Um, like calories to our diet yep. and then slowly bringing it back down in the hopes that we will be able to change our macros and still maintain the weight that we desire. Yeah, the whole goal of this is to speed up our metabolism. So if you're new to our channel, we've been talking to uh, Robert Sykes, Keto Savage, uh, for a couple of months about doing this, but we were trying to get everything just right in the way we were gonna do it. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually did a live stream with him few weeks ago, I'll leave a link to that right over Rachel's head. And basically we ended up deciding that we were going to follow like a modified version of his deeper state keto program, which is something that he did with Matt and Mega over on Keto Connect. And it's something that anybody can sign up for. Yes. Like if they're interested in it, you can, you know, we'll leave a link down below if you're yep. interested in, in trying that out for yourself. But we definitely wanted to, to do it ourselves to see like, what did it do for somebody our age? Yes. Because we have, you know, unlike Matt and Mega, you know, we're much older than them. Right. And we've had plenty of time to screw up our metabolism. Yeah, because like if you've never seen it, we do have a video where we kind of go through like everything about us and our whole weight loss journey and where we were when we were younger and, and as adolescents and we've both been heavy most of our lives so we've kind of screwed up our metabolism just a little bit just a toonsy much yeah you know it's low eating as low as 400 500 600 calories a day for over a year yeah to me starving myself binging working out, not working out. So it's really messed up our metabolism. Yeah, so we would like to see like, what does this do for somebody that is in our age bracket and somebody that aren't like like super into fitness. Right. You know, I mean, we, we don't work out all the time. I mean, even Matt and Mega, like, you know, go to the gym like all of the time. And certainly like, you know, the savages are amazing in the yes. gym. So uh, we just want to see what this will do for us. Right. So now what we'd like to do, the ultimate goal is number one, to speed up our metabolism, but also drop, I'd like to drop probably about eight to 10 pounds. And I know you want to drop about the same. Yeah. You know, for me, it's more of kind of getting rid of like, you know, this, this fat that is on the rolls of the loose skin in my stomach. I don't have a lot here or like on my back or my legs or anything. It's just those rolls from all the loose skin and there's like fat trapped in there. That's the hard stuff to get rid of. I'll tell you what else I'd like to drop that is a very heavy burden to carry. That is some lingering fear in my relationship with food. Yeah. Because my, um, my, my, my gut reaction to this is to be fearful because we're going to be adding calories and if I want to lose weight my first thing I want to do is reduce my calories right so we're going to go the opposite of what my feelings and emotions would say to do in response to my desire to lose some weight yeah because when we were speaking with Robert and I'll leave a link to Robert's channel if you've never seen his channel he's got a lot of good knowledge on stuff he also makes the keto breaks he does some workout videos he puts out videos every week on how to work different muscles but when I was speaking with him, he was like, listen, here's the thing. At the time, Rachel's eating about 1,500 calories. I'm eating about 2,000. And he was like, you really need to be eating more calories. He's like, I don't like to see any woman go be below like 13 to 1,400 calories. And that's usually only for like a day or two. And he's like, and guys really don't get down lower than 1,700. So he's like, if we start you losing weight right now, like you're going to be lower than where I want you to be. And 
ultimately that screws up your metabolism more. So he's like, before we can have you lose weight, we need to increase your metabolism. And we're doing that with what's called a reverse diet. So let's talk about what a reverse diet is, because this is honestly a little weird. It does, it seems strange. So what a reverse diet is, it's exactly that. It's reversing your way out of your diet. Because the bottom line is this, is when you like reach your goal weight, mm -hmm. like what is your goal weight? 135, I would say. So once you would reach your goal weight, what would you normally do with your calories? Well, I would go from maybe dieting at 1200 calories and then go back to like a maintenance calorie of like 1500. Right, but here's the problem. You're gonna go from eating 1200 calories to eating 1500 calories, but your body has learned to operate at 1200. Ooh. So now all of a sudden you're giving your body an extra 300 calories that it doesn't need. So that's the yo-yo diet. And now you're going to start putting that weight back on, which we don't want to put weight back on. No, I don't. That's our food beeping, by the way. Yeah, so I was like the... chicken wings. So what we're going to do is you're going to reverse your way back in by slowly adding the calories, by adding just 25 to 50 calories a week to allow your body to adjust to the increased calories. And the goal of that is no fat gain. Oh, I'm because you're going to slowly speed up your movement because your body's going to be like, hey, okay, I was eating 1200. Now I'm eating 1250. Okay, I've got an extra 50 calories. We can speed things up a little bit. And then the next week, hey, I've got an extra 50 calories. We can speed things up a little bit. Whereas if you were adding 300 calories at once, your body's like, I gotta put this someplace. Yeah, I because I don't need all of that extra calories at one time. Okay, now it does, it kind of makes sense. It makes a lot of sense when you look at it logically. Yeah. So what Robert's having us do is we're going to slowly increase our calories up. Okay. And then once we're gonna stay there for a little while because hopefully what that's gonna supposed to do is speed up our metabolism. And we're Please. guinea pigs with this. Like hopefully we don't gain like 20 pounds doing this. Y'all be kind. And then after that, maintaining there for a little while, then we're gonna reverse off because what he's saying is now I've got you at a high level. So now I can drop you two, 300 calories. And what will happen is, is you'll drop off some extra weight. And now you're still eating at a higher calorie than you were before. So let's go over what our starting macros are and then we'll wrap up today's video. So I am starting off, I'll go over, you wanna go over you first, I have you up. So sure. I've got a spreadsheet, so that's part of the Deeper State Keto program is you get the spreadsheet and you enter everything in. And again, like Rachel said, if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below. Mm -hmm. there, there is a cost to it, yeah. um, but it is really amazing. It's tons of videos and recipes and meal plans and all that kinds of stuff and this spreadsheet. Okay, so we've got you starting at 146 pounds. All right, that's dead on. Okay, uh, and you're going to start off eating 125 grams of fat a day. All right. 79 grams of protein. Okay. And then 15 carbs. Now what we're gonna do with the carbs is we're gonna kind of follow the way we usually recommend and what we normally do, we're not gonna do total carbs, we're not gonna completely do net carbs. We're gonna do total carbs for processed foods. Yeah. And then we're gonna do net carbs for whole foods, things like eggs, you know, uh, things like vegetables, stuff like that. This stuff's And we may made. adjust it as we go along. We're gonna see how we feel doing this. Okay. Part of the original Deeper State Pro Keto program would be finding your, um, proper fat to protein ratio, but we already know that. So Robert's just kind of starting us off where we already know. Yeah. I think he usually starts you off at 80% fat and then tapers you like lower fat, higher protein wow. until you find where you feel best. Right. Okay, so you're starting off at 1500 calories and then we're gonna do this for a few months, but just to give you an idea, on October 29th, you will be at 1,797 calories, which will be almost 300 calories more than you're currently eating. Oh my gracious. 141 grams of fat, 116 grams of protein, still at 15 carbs. And then on the next day, that's actually on the 29th of October, on the next day we're gonna have a little bit of a refeed and you're gonna jump up to 1,866 calories for the day. Halloween, Okay, almost. yeah, on Halloween. So that is you, so let's go over me real quick. And again, we had to even modify this a little bit because originally Robert, it had us jumping up like 150 calories a week and Robert's like, that's a little bit too quick. You're probably gonna put some weight on. Yeah. Okay, so for me, I'm starting off at 186 pounds. All right. I've got uh, 171 grams of fat, 114 grams of protein, 
15 carbs. We're going to follow it the same way. I'm going to start off at 2,055 calories. Wow. Then to give you an idea, every week we're going to change it and we're going to, we'll come back and we'll talk about it on keto on the couch and stuff. And then also we'll do like follow up videos on October 29th. I will be eating 2,333 calories. Oh my gracious. And then we're going to go to 178 grams of fat, 168 grams of protein, 15 total carbs. And then the next day we're going to do a refeed at about 2,500 calories. Now the goal of this, by the end of this program of this reverse diet, which is going to be right around Thanksgiving. Okay. I should be up to 3,000 calories. And you're going to be up somewhere around 2,200 calories. Oh my goodness. Then we'll hang out there for a couple of weeks and then kind of slowly reverse off and see how we, how we, what happens to us. Thanksgiving is going to rock this year. <laughs> so we're going to take all of our measurements and then we'll check in, I don't know, maybe every couple of weeks yeah. with an update on how we're feeling. Are we gaining weight? Are our measurements going up? Are they going down? And then we'll also check in on Keto on the Couch. All right. So are you excited for this? I am very excited. Uh, what are you more excited for? Are you excited for just getting more food or are you excited for possibly repairing a damaged metabolism? Honestly, I mean, all joking aside, I mean, I love my food. Let's not, let's not be silly with that. But um, I am really excited about mending some brokenness inside of my metabolism. I really am. I'm hoping for the best with this. I really am. I am super excited for, yeah, being able to eat a little bit more, but also being able to just repair metabolism. I'd love to be able to be at my age and eating, like he said, I should be maintaining around 2,700 calories and you should be maintaining around 1,900. I feel like that's a lot more doable and, you know, you could go places and not be so worried all the time. Right. And again, we are going to have a little bit of working out in, but not like, not keto savage working out. We're, We're going to incorporate... Continue with our bike ride. I'm going to continue with like doing all of my games and stuff. The resistance, the bands. resistance bands, maybe some like push ups, burpees, that kind of stuff. But we're not going to like change. we're not hitting a gym. No, we're not going to change our lifestyle because then we won't be able to see right. if it was the gym that did it or this diet that did it. Right, but again, Robert does want us to have a little bit more because we are increasing calories, and so we're doing a little bit. But when I say a little bit, like maybe. 10, 15% more activity than we're normally doing. A Rachel amount. So, well, that is our video for today. Let us know uh, if you guys have ever done a reverse diet, yes. what your thoughts on are, and then we're going to start an entire playlist so you can keep track on this and check in with us both on Keto on the Couch and then in this playlist as well. Yay! If you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye! bye.